This year's gadgeteers are reciting but one mantra. I think, therefore, iPod. And what's an iPod? It's an MP3 player made by Apple. And what's an MP3? Well, it's a way of compressing music and means the iPod can store 10,000 songs on its 40 gigabyte hard drive. The iPod is by far the best selling MP3 player in the world. But is the iPod just an expensive fashion accessory? Is it actually any good? And if you're thinking about buying an MP3 player, is this the one you should go for? Well, before you fork out up to £400, let me reveal the iPod's downsides. Firstly, there are question marks over the battery life, and muggers are now on the lookout for those white earphones that signal you've got a pocket worth picking. Frankly, you're better off without them. They're really tinny anyway. Another letdown is the lack of a recording input, so you can't record directly from a hi-fi. Everything has to come via a computer. So you see, contrary to popular belief, the iPod isn't perfect. But what about its many rivals? Are they any better? It's going to take something a bit special to knock the apple out of its tree. And in our opinion, there are only a few contenders out there for the iPod's crown. The Rio Karma is a 20 gigabyte jukebox that comes with the distinction of being compatible with WMA. Now don't panic, that's the Windows Music format. It means you can download cheaper music from the Napster site. At £240, it's cheaper than the equivalent iPod and comes with double the battery life, plus a very good quality pair of Sennheiser earphones. Unfortunately, it looks like a big, ugly pager. Kirsty McCall, hippie. The Philips HDD 120 is not bad looking and has a line in port for recording direct off your CD player. It's loaded with useful features and again has a much better battery life than the iPod. At £350, this Creative Zen Extra isn't exactly stylish, but it's cheaper than the most expensive iPod and it's got the largest capacity of any player on the market. This thing can hold 16,000 different songs. That's more songs than have ever been in the top 10. The simply named Panasonic CDSL CT810 is not an MP3 player, but it will play CDs encoded from most music formats, so you can download music to your computer and burn one CD with up to 200 MP3 quality songs on it. This thing's trump card is a battery life verging on 100 hours. So, if you're not already feeling seduced by the glow of a shiny new iPod, then there are credible alternatives out there. But really, once you get past the way things look, doesn't it all boil down to how easy they are to use? Well, we think so. Now, I've downloaded all the music from this CD onto the computer. What I want to see is how quickly I can get that music from the computer onto our MP3 players and listen to track 11, our gadget show theme tune. Unfortunately, we've had a non-starter. This is the Creative Zen Extra. It's the one the manufacturer sent us, and it just won't work. It's been well-reviewed elsewhere, but frankly, we're not that impressed. So, four contenders left. Let's rock and roll. Ready, go. The Rio Karma and Philips HDD120 download straight from the Windows Media Player on your computer via their own software. All you do is plug in your MP3 and press update. The iPod's pretty much the same, except it works direct from iTunes software, and once plugged in, it downloads anything you haven't already got on your iPod automatically. For the Panasonic, you need to burn a CD, so there's no connection. Just a long wait as the computer does the burning. The iPod's way ahead all the way through the process, and I'm listening to the track I want after just 50 seconds. The Rio Karma's faster download, but the controls on it are so fiddly and sensitive that I just can't get it to select the track I want. In the meantime, the Philips finishes the job in 1 minute and 25 seconds. I finally get the Rio to do what I want it to and hear the track after 2 minutes and 55 seconds. Having to burn a CD for the Panasonic is not a quick job and it's almost 5.5 minutes before it's done. Well, it seems the iPod deserves its place at the top of the tree and there's no sign of its dominance letting up either because very soon this will be in the shops. It's the iPod Mini, its little sister. It's half the size and it can store up to 1,000 songs. It should have been launched here in April, but demand for it in the States has been so massive that they can't even keep that market fully supplied, let alone ship the things abroad. In fact, demand is so great for the iPod Mini over here already, these things are changing hands on the internet for well over the odds. If you thought the iPod was a success, 
I've got a feeling you ain't seen nothing yet. This week, a hundred grand hi-fi takes on a live performer. Plus, should you be buying a video mobile? Go, 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 go! I came in through the front undercarriage 